Hi, this is Tim. I am back with another video. I'm doing an Evercade cartridge comparison video or handheld cartridge comparison video. And I just thought I'd do something a little bit different. This is, of course, the Evercade uh, cartridge size. And I've got, I'm good at dropping stuff. I've got a whole load of other cartridges from handheld systems, starting, of course, with the original Game Boy. And then we've got Game Gear and we've got some more modern ones, 3DS, DS and of course the Nintendo Switch. So the original Game Boy, the uh, typical cartridge actual memory size was 256 kilobytes, 500 uh, kilobytes, something around that for the early games, up to a maximum of 8 megabytes. Now the actual uh, storage size they put on the Evercade is um, 256 megabytes. I think that's pretty much in all of them and um, obviously it's got game collections. The actual size of the cart, as you can see, it's um, a fair bit smaller actually. It's a fair bit smaller. It's not quite as um, chunky or heavy plastic as the Evercade, but it's not, obviously there's a different shape because the Evercade does slot nicely into the back, uh, similar to the Game Boy, but you'll see obviously kind of forms part of the back of the game cart. And that was pretty much identical size and storage to the Game Boy Color. As you can see with the Game Gear, it's got a more rounded shape on the Game Gear. Front rounded as opposed to the back round of the Evercade. Again, the Game Boy Gear cartridge is actually pretty big. Um, unfortunately, I haven't got an Atari Lynx or Neo Geo pocket size. The Atari Lynx was flatter. This is actually pretty similar to Neo Geo Pocket. And if you actually compare it to Nintendo um, Game Boy Advance, which has got a bigger storage capacity, you can see it's actually not, not a huge deal bigger, really, than the Game Boy Advance. It's actually quite small in comparison, but nothing compared to DS, which again has bigger storage sizes as the 3DS had even bigger storage sizes as well. Again, that's tiny in comparison. And then we come to the smallest of them all, of course. The Nintendo Switch. Obviously, massive memory capacity in these. I don't have the maximum size. I'm not sure how big they go, but obviously, look at the size comparison compared to the Switch. It's teeny. Um, but yeah, they are, they, are, they do feel a little bit cheaply built, but they're not bad. They're not bad at all, and they're quite a nice design. And like I said, typically it, it's got 128 megabytes, but I'm guessing they could probably put in um, a bigger storage, and I, I believe they're going to try and keep them all the same price. They're pretty well priced at $20, 15 pounds, 17 euros. And um, yeah, just a kind of cartridge comparison. But what I really like is then it just slots nicely into the back and it forms part of the back as you can see and finishes off the cartridge finishes off the back casing rather nicely and uh, they have improved the design now so they were, they were really tight fits at the beginning um, but this really as you can see I've not had any problems with the cartridges being really tight it just slides in and out perfectly I'm really happy with it. And yeah, it's just interesting to do a size comparison. So really, although you think it's it's probably closest obviously to the Game Boy and the Game Boy Advance, very um very slightly bigger and very for the Game Boy Advance and very slightly smaller for the original Game Boy and slightly cheaper build quality than both of those, I would say. And but they have nicely branded it. And so overall, I'm very happy with what they've done for that. Doesn't compare very favorably size-wise, of course, to the, to the uh, DS, 3DS, and the Switch. And that's it, really. Just a bit of fun once more. Hope you enjoyed the video. Unfortunately, like I said, I didn't have the Lynx and the Neo Geo Pocket, which would have been fun, but um, I haven't got any cartridges and I didn't want to buy additional stuff just for this video. Let me know your thoughts. Hope you enjoyed it. Just a bit of fun. Thanks for watching.